What's up guys, Ace the Cheapster here back with another video and we've got one that's been a long time coming. I've been needing to make this one and that is an honest review of Uber Eats as a delivery driver. So you guys may have seen I did a video doing my first day of doing Uber Eats a while back. You can check that out if you haven't seen that video, but I'm just going to talk through kind of what my review is of Uber Eats as a platform as a delivery driver, especially as one that's also worked for Instacart, Grubhub and DoorDash. So I kind of know how everything else is out there. So kind of going over what's so good about Uber Eats and what's so bad. So I'm going to go over the pros, the cons, and then I'm going to talk about what everybody of course wants to know. What's the pay like with Uber Eats and how much can you usually make working as a delivery driver for Uber Eats? All right, so getting started right off, let's talk about the sign up process. So the sign up process with Uber Eats to me was very simple, uh, probably one of the most simple out of all the apps I've signed up for. It just seemed very streamlined, which I shouldn't be surprised about since they're also Uber. It's just a very simple process to get started up if you legally can work for them and you've got a car and you've got everything you need not to mention here too that they also usually have some kind of sign up bonus for your region that you can usually make money if you sign up and then do so many deliveries in a certain amount of time i may have a referral link down below in the description that you guys can sign up with i might not i'm not sure if they allow it but you can check down there to see if it's there and also while you're down there make sure to check for the referral for get upside to save money on gas so you can get cash back savings on gas it's an app i really love you guys can use that and there's a code down there w save some money in your first fill up but yeah so that was the sign up process so moving on past that, what's really nice about the Uber Eats app too, is it's also the Uber driver app. I think you do actually have to take an extra step to be able to be a driver on the Uber app, but it looked like it's very simple to do. I've never done it myself, but it's nice that it's all in one app so that you could actually be working as an Uber driver and be doing Uber Eats orders, which would be really awesome if you want to do both because there's downtimes on both of those. And maybe you could work as a driver during a certain part of the day and then work as an Uber Eats driver for another part of the day. So I really like that about the app and another thing that is really awesome about the app is that you can do it from anywhere in the country as far as i've seen there might be some different laws about working in california because they have some different stuff out there not exactly sure about that but from what i can see it looks like i can do it state to state i can pretty much work wherever i want turn on whenever i want but i will warn you here with that if you're going to work in a different state there could be some tax implications on that so make sure you look into that before you ever do work in a different state than your primary residence but having that option can be really great if you're like a college student or something so you're at home for part of the year and then off to college in a different state for part of the year. This can be really awesome that you can just continue to work throughout the entire year. Another really great thing with Uber Eats is that they give you insurance for your car on your deliveries, which is something that's not done for a lot of the apps. And as far as I can tell, it looks like they have pretty decent extra insurance for you when you're actually working for them. Now, this doesn't mean that you don't have to have insurance your own. I'm pretty sure you need to have your own insurance too, but this means you wouldn't have to get commercial insurance on top of it because it looks like they provide that for you. I don't know if that's different state to state though, so I would definitely check into that first to make sure that you're actually covered. Another thing that's great about them, like I already said, is they do promos a lot. So not just for signups, but they usually do promos. Like right now they have one running where I could be guaranteed a certain amount of money if I take a certain amount of offers and they do those pretty frequently. So it's nice to have that to keep the platform paying well so that you know that you're at least gonna get a certain amount when they do those promos. They also do show you the pickup and drop off location, which is something that I think is a necessity on apps. I think all the apps pretty much do it now that I've seen but that's something that's super important to make sure that you can see before you accept an order where you're picking up and where you're going to be dropping it off at. Another great thing I would say about Uber Eats is that they have a very good workflow on their orders so when they come in I will say usually they are going to be ready. There are some times where you may have to wait but it seems like things run pretty smoothly so that when you get to the place it's ready for pickup and you can just go deliver it. It's really good because it works so smoothly that you can get the orders and then go to the house so that you don't have to be sitting around waiting for orders so that obviously you could make the most money and last on the pros of what's good about uber eats is that the acceptance rate doesn't matter although i will say that the completion rate does matter so don't think that you can accept all the orders you want and then just cancel them because that's considered a bad completion rate and that will get you kicked off the app but if you don't accept orders that's your acceptance rate that doesn't matter you can have that as low as you want as far as i can tell i don't even think they track that on the app which is something that's different about uber eats which i think is really nice because i can't stay in the acceptance rate stuff on other app. I mean, my DoorDash acceptance rate is like 
10% or something. All right, so that's it for the pros of Uber Eats. So let's talk about the middle line, some things that are kind of pros and cons. There's a few things I want to talk about. So the first thing is that there are tiers of drivers. This could work in your favor though, because the higher tier you are, the more orders you'll probably get from them and then the more benefits you have. But of course, if you're not a high tier, I think you're probably not going to get those orders before other people that are higher tiers. Now, I don't know if that's exactly how the system is set up, but in my own personal experience, being a lower tier, I would say it definitely seems like that's probably what happens. So this could work against you or in your favor, depending on how much you actually work for Uber Eats. And then another middle line pro and con I would say is that the Uber Eats does have a credit card that you can use to order orders and pick them up and pay for them. Now this could be seen as good or bad. It can be bad because it's extra work, but I will say most of the time these orders where you have to do this stuff is actually going to be extra pay. And that means that there's going to be more restaurants too. So that's usually going to mean more orders. I will say that the bulk of them are just going to be in the app and you're not going to have to use the credit card, at least in my area, that's what I've seen. But I say this is a good and bad because it means usually more orders, more higher paying orders, but obviously more work for you to do as an Uber Eats driver. All right, so getting on to the cons, I will say one of the big ones I noticed is that I've had times where I had to cancel an order because a restaurant was closed and they don't pay you anything for those. Now, I assume they do the same thing when a customer cancels an order too, that they probably wouldn't pay you anything for that too. But to me, this was a pretty bad con with Uber Eats because if you spend like 30 minutes trying to drive out to a restaurant, which a lot of them are far, you may get there, find out that the place is closed for some reason, and then you got paid nothing for trying to go out there and do that in your gas that you spent trying to drive there. Now, I will say this doesn't necessarily happen that often, but this was a pretty big con to me, and I really didn't like the fact that they pay you nothing for that. Another con I noticed with Uber Eats is the fact that customers can actually change their tip after the fact, which usually can work in your favor because that means they could tip more, but it concerns me because it worries me about tip pullback where maybe you get a big order you drive all the way out to it and most of it's a tip and then they pull that tip off after you actually deliver the order just because they wanted you to go do the order and I will say that I've never actually seen this myself but it's something that could happen so that kind of worries me but I will say most of the time I've actually seen tips come in higher after the fact so maybe that's actually a benefit that looks like it could be a con but usually works out better for you another thing that I've noticed with Uber Eats is the fact that the drives are usually pretty long at least in my region I feel like I'm usually going to be driving something like 10 miles out just to get to a restaurant I don't know why they're not in in the area but that's just how they are now this one's not completely a con because usually these longer drives actually mean that i get paid pretty well and they're higher paying drives but that's also where the tip pullback thing kind of bothers me because i'm like well if i have to drive all the way out there and the tip gets pulled it might not be worth my time. Another small thing with Uber Eats that I didn't really like was the fact that they don't give you a delivery bag. I think you can order it on their store, but they don't give it to you for free. Although I think that is kind of becoming the normal with all these other companies, so maybe that's not that big of a con. And the last con that I would say for Uber Eats is the app functionality. Now this is a big one for me because I feel like I had lots of issues the whole time I used it. Just so many problems in the app. And I will say that I've talked about this a little bit in some of my videos before, and I've heard comments of people saying that they have no issues use at all. So I don't know if this is strictly related to my type of phone. I have an iPhone, so I would imagine a lot of people have the same problems I'm having. But one of the biggest problems I had in the app was the fact that sometimes orders would come in and it would just show me a black screen or the delivery address would be off the map so I couldn't see where anything was. So those kind of things were a big problem because it really made it so that I couldn't actually compare if it was worth taking that trip or not. But like I said, some people said they don't have that problem. So maybe that's just something that's related to me or my app or I I don't know but that's it for the cons and most of these cons really are not that big of a deal unless you have the app functionality issue if you don't have that then you really don't have much to worry about but of course getting on to the big question that everyone wants to know how much can you make actually doing uber eats as a driver well starting this off i'm going to talk about how many orders you actually will get on uber eats and of course this varies drastically based on what region you're working in at least for me in my experience what i've felt in greenville south carolina with uber eats it seems like there's not a ton of orders it seems like they're usually going to be the slower of all the apps and of course when there's not many orders that's always going to make it kind of hard for you to make much working it in a day now like i said this varies region to region so your area could have a ton of uber eats orders so this might be completely different for you that's what's so difficult to talk about how much you actually get paid as a driver because it depends on what region you're in how much you're actually going to be paid and there's stuff like california has completely different laws so if you're there this may be completely different for you but i would say what i've seen with the uber eats orders is usually in my area 
area, they are the highest paying of all the offers of any of the apps. It's not uncommon for me to see 20 plus dollar orders for Uber Eats, but they're usually gonna be a decent drive. And like I said, you might do that and then wait around for an hour before the next one comes in. So if I had to put a number on it, I guess I'd probably say that you are gonna make somewhere around 15 to $20 an hour maybe, but of course, like I said, that varies drastically. So that might not even be that great of a number for you in your region. Usually the offers I see coming in are somewhere around like $13 or higher. It's usually pretty good. And like I said, a lot of times I'll get even higher tips on top of that with Uber Eats. Seems to be one of the best platforms for getting more tips on your orders. But that's really what I got for you guys for my review of Uber Eats. I think that the cons are pretty small and the pros that they have are usually pretty good for you that you're going to make some decent money if you do it. But of course, like I always say, that varies place to place. So your area could be bad. I don't know. But I always recommend to people that you might as well just go try it out. See how it is in your area because there are some areas that are very good and you won't know that until you try it. But hopefully this was helpful and thank you guys for watching it. Hopefully you feel like you know what you're getting into more now if you're going to sign up for Uber Eats and try to drive for them. You guys have no idea how hard it is to say the words Uber Eats over and over again in this video. I've messed it up so many times. It's like a tongue twister. Uber Eats, Uber Eats, Uber Eats, Uber Eats, blueberries. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, remember to do the cheapest thing you can today. Tap that like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this about delivery driving and finance. And I will see you guys in the next video. And remember, stay cheap. Hey, you better be saving that money. Don't you be spending it now. You're still here watching this? You might as well just subscribe. Why would you not at this point?